now let's see some examples on how it works so before we move on we have two tables one is employee table and one is department table let's see the data in these tables so we have this employee ID department id which is common between employee and department table right dp so focus on this employee id and department id and let's see in department table we have department id so if we have to join these two tables on which column can we join department yeah, we can join on department id this is the common column between these two tables right so let's take one example the first example that we will see is select the details of all employees from department 201 employee from department 201 who has the highest salary but i want to get the details of the employee from department 201 who has the highest salary so for this we can only refer to the employee table because all the columns that we need is here we have the department id column here so we can filter on 201 we have the employee details here so let's see in department 201 who has the highest salary so Ananya, right? She is the CEO. So her salary is one crore. So my result output should be Ananya. So let's see how we can write this query using subquery. Before that, if we want to get details of employees who has the highest salary, can we get it any other way? At this point, we cannot. And if we just do a group by to get the highest salary, we can only get the department ID and the highest salary. We will not be able to get the employee details for that right yeah because group by has to have all the other columns and if we include any other column it will be be a unique group because employee ids will be unique for all the employees so we will not be able to find out the employee with highest salary for a department so in this case we will use subquery and since we know we need to get the highest salary so for a department only one highest salary will be there so this is an example of single row subquery let's write the query and see so we want to get the details of all the employees so it will be select star from employees or employee this is our outer query okay where what we need we need the employee with maximum salary maximum so, salary yeah so where salary equal to now starts our subquery select max of salary from again same table employee where department id equals to 201 right and this becomes our inner query right and if i run this query alone the inner query right I get one crore. So if, if this is the example of which I was saying. In normal subqueries, we can execute this query individually as well. This is not dependent on this employee outer table. We just execute this and we get result. And how many records did we get? Out of that, only one record. Wow. So this is the example of single row subquery. So now when I run this, What happened? Why did it say? Okay, that comment was causing the error. Okay, so we got the results as Ananya, which was our expected result. Any other way we can get this output without using a subquery? Mm. 
we have a way. We'll discuss this when we talk about the window functions. Okay. So the next query is we need to select details of all employees who work for HR department, right? In this case, we have the information like the department should be HR. So from where we get the HR information from this table. So here we know the department name is HR. And we need to get details of all the employees means we need to join these two tables on department ID with a filter on department name equal to HR. Right. So it is again an example of single row subquery. Right. So we can write select star from employee where so mind it so now we know department name is hr and department names comes from department table right but what is the common column between department and employee table it is department id right so we will again filter on department id and this time from which table department where d name equal to hr right when i run this query and if I execute it, I still get one record, right? Which means this is a single row subquery. And now let's run the entire query. So we get the details of all the employees who work for HR department. And how can we identify that? It's based on department ID. Any other way we can do this? We can do this using joins also, right? Anyone want to try how we can do this using joins? Let me write the query. So do you think this query will give us the same results as we got using this subquery? Let's try. You see, getting the same results. So essentially what we did, last sessions we discussed on joins. So we are joining employee table with department table on what? Department ID. And then we are adding a filter on department name. Same thing we are doing here also. We are first picking the department ID or a department HR. So this where condition is covered here, right? Department table is covered here. This department ID equal to department ID is matching this department ID with this department ID and selecting from E dot star. Here we are selecting star from employee, right? So these two queries will give the same results. Right, so whenever you get a scenarios like this, you can always decide either you want to go with subqueries or you want to go with joins because there are multiple ways to, you know, write a query for a given situation. And you need to decide which one is most suitable on a performance point of view and basically on which one you are more comfortable with. So if you are comfortable with joins, you can use this approach. If you are comfortable with, you know, subqueries, you can go with this approach. Ultimately, the data set will be same. And it's same thing, right? We are joining here on this column. We are filtering here on this column. We have a filter on department table and we have a filter on department table here also. Clear on this? Are you able to relate how we can write the same query using joins also? 
Yes, bro. Yes. Okay.